Today I'm going to do a fun little flint napping project where I'm going to make an arrowhead out of this piece of old glass. Usually I get old glass from bottles I find in a junkyard, but this is a little bit older than what I've done before. This is a piece of ancient Roman glass. It was made more than 2,000 years ago. It comes from an archaeological dig in Israel. Uh, people like to get these pieces of broken glass and make jewelry out of them. They get this really uh, pretty rainbow patina on them. Uh, that is on the surface. So as we flint nap, we're actually going to be removing it. And uh, I'm just really curious how such an ancient uh, piece of glass will flint nap. It's probably going to be pretty uh, brittle and delicate. This piece was the bottom of some kind of vessel where you can see a little uh, bubble or bulge right there on the this side. So we're going to have to work around that flint napping. It's really thin right here on this side. So I'm probably going to be making my arrowhead out of the this piece right here. So it's not going to be a big arrowhead, but it is a really cool piece of glass. For uh, tools, I'm not going to be able to do percussion with the antler. I'm just going to be doing pressure flaking. I have a piece of uh, metal wire here that's copper. Copper's softer than steel and uh, works well for flint napping. So I ground a really sharp point on that, and we're going to be pressure flaking uh, pieces off of this glass with this copper little spike. I'm going to also grind the edges and abrade them and set up platforms. So let's get started on flint napping a 2,000 year old piece of ancient Roman glass. The first thing I'm going to do is uh, take my abrader stone and uh, grind the edges so I have a good platform to start pushing flakes off of. You can tell that this glass is brittle and it's really thin so you have to be very delicate in working this. I hope I don't break it down the center but I think we can make a good arrowhead out of this. The next step is to look for a, a little edge right there, something like that, and you can just start pushing in and down to make uh, your first flakes. I want to start a flaking pattern that I can work off of, so start taking just little pieces. With this initial stage, I'm taking just tiny little flakes from the edge. Uh, that way I have a nice uh, angled edge that I can grind and send flakes into, take away all those square edges, and I'm starting to shape the piece. I'm starting to take longer flakes here from that high spot. You can see the flaking pattern building on each other. It's really starting to come together. That was a nice flake. I've been working the edges on this ancient Roman glass for about a half an hour and it's starting to take shape. I'm getting a nice triangle arrowhead shape and the flakes are getting longer. Right now the biggest challenge is removing this high spot here, but I think pretty soon we'll be taking flakes from both sides and being able to flatten this piece. I'll just keep working the edges with this copper pressure flaker, being really careful to support my far edge and not push too hard. And so far it hasn't broken. Uh, we're working off that rainbow patina quite a bit, so that's disappearing. But the glass underneath is really pretty. It's kind of this aqua clear blue color. I'm going to keep working the edges now. That was a nice long flake. It's going into that high spot there, starting to thin it out. I'm really happy with how this is working. I've done quite a bit to shape this arrowhead. I removed that high spot, that bubble there. But if you turn it on its side, its profile is still really curved. It has a convex side, which is easy to send flakes into a high spot. But on the back side, it has a low spot there, and it's hard to send flakes into those. It's kind of cool though because it's preserving that ancient patina, that rainbow patina that forms on the glass. So this is going to have a flaking pattern of an A side and a B side. The A side is going to have a really nice flaking pattern. The B side is going to basically be untouched ancient patina. So I'm going to continue shaping this to a nice point and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. I've just about completed the final shaping on our arrowhead. It has a really nice needle point there. I just need to put in some notches at the base, so I'll pressure flake those in, and then I'll show you what our 2,000-year-old ancient Roman glass arrowhead looks like. Putting in some nice little barbs there and a little base stem, so got to be real delicate and just take little flakes at a time. There, I'm really happy with that. A nice flaking pattern, a sharp point, some barbs, and that ancient patina, that rainbow color on the back. 
This will make a really cool necklace and it's a fun project. I like trying different things and flint napping ancient glass was definitely a challenge and it was fun. I enjoyed it. I'll be doing more flint napping videos in the future so stay tuned.